so I've been doing some work with Touch Designer, and one of the first things that I was interested in getting it to do was talking to Arduino for the type of projects that I'm interested in using it for. And so I thought I would post the quick video here showing how I was able to do that. Um, it ended up being pleasantly straightforward to do. So I'll talk about the hardware first. This is just a plain Jane Arduino. It's connected via USB to the computer. Um, there is a prototyping shield sitting on top of it. And there's an LED here that I think is in maybe like pin 12, 11, 11 maybe. And as you can see, it is responding to the level of my voice. But there's no, there's no microphone on the Arduino. It's receiving that information from the computer via the serial port. So, uh, which is these, these channels that are being visualized on the screen here. So that's the touch designer to Arduino direction. For the Arduino to touch designer direction, this is probably a little bit harder to see, but there's a switch here that's connected to maybe like pin 12, I think. And as I press it, it's gonna ground out that pin. And you can see it's appearing here as this green trace on the screen. So that's the Arduino to touch designer direction. Let's take a look at the Arduino sketch. I just started with the under examples here, communication, and then serial call and response. And then I deleted out the parts of the sketch that I didn't need, which was most of it. So we've got a couple of constants up here. We fire up our serial port. Then we configure our pins. The LED pin is an output. The switch pin is an input. And it has the internal pull-up resistor enabled so that all you have to do is ground the pin out and otherwise it will default to the high state. Then in our loop, we're reading, if there's, a, if there's a new byte on the serial port, then it gets that byte and sets the LED pin to that value. And then it reads the pin for the switch and sends that back out on Arduino. So really simple. All we're doing is we're reading the serial port, setting a pin to that value, reading a pin, sending that value back out on the serial port. Then in Touch Designer, kind of the workhorse here is a DAT called Serial. Just under the DAT menu here, it's called Serial. Um, you have to set your COM port to the correct COM port for your Arduino, just like you do in the Arduino IDE. And then once you do, it will stream your incoming data here. And you can see as I depress this switch, the ones change to zero. So that's, that's coming in in a text format. We want it in a channel format so that we can visualize it on the screen. And so then here's a DAT to channel operator. And it just takes that um, input from the serial DAT and outputs a channel. I had to play around with these values to find the one that worked, but once I did, it, it worked, um, worked just fine. And then just going to this trail operator which is what we're actually seeing projected on the screen. Um, so uh, going the other direction, we're starting off with the input from the microphone. And so that's a audio, it's under the it's a channel operator and it's an audio device in. And so you just select the device that you want and then there's some filtering that happens. Um, I set up a bandpass for voice. 
up here that's between 3,000 and 300 hertz. What ended up being kind of the best signal for triggering the LED was to just take everything below 100 hertz and throw away everything above 100 hertz. So that's, uh, I'll, I'll post these files in my blog and so you can download them and play with them. And so then there's a math operator. Um, this incoming signal is oscillating between negative 0.10 and 0.10. I'm not sure how it arrives at those numbers, but that's, um, that's the, the numbers that are coming in. Whereas for our serial port, we want it to be scaled between zero and 255 because we want it to be a byte. Uh, we don't want to be sending floats out on the serial port. Um, so uh, there's a pre-operator here that changes all the values to positive. And then, and, and also changes all the values to integers. And then there's a range operator that takes the incoming values and scales them to zero to 255. And this is just real quick and dirty. I just kind of played with the values until I got something that, that seemed to, you know, kind of visually look right. And then lastly, there's a resample operator. Um, so <laughs> the first thing that I tried to do was I tried to feed it this, this top red channel directly. And this is like a 44 kilohertz audio sample channel. So the 9600 baud um, serial port didn't like that too much and pretty much like kind of froze up my computer and the Arduino and just, you know, kind of had to like close out touch designer with the, the um, uh, task manager. But um, so all this does is it resamples the audio input into something that the serial port can actually happen, can actually uh, handle, and that's 30, 30 samples per second. And so, um, and you know, and then it's fed out to the trail operator again, just to visualize it. But what's actually doing the work of sending it to the serial port is a um, cha uh, channel, channel execute. Chop execute. Um, it's a DAT called Chop execute, and what that will do is take an incoming channel. In this case, I have it set to take resample one, and it um, when you create it, it comes in with some handy callbacks already created for you, and so it will. Um, the one I'm using is value change. Every time it receives a new value. It takes that value and sends it to the operator serial one using the method send bytes. And serial one is once again, this guy, it's our serial dad. So um, hopefully there's not too many components here to kind of obscure just how simple this is. Um, just as a proof of concept, I've been working with Touch Designer for about a week now, and I'm really pleased with how easy it was to create something that was kind of visual and interesting um, just as a, as a proof of concept. So I think that's everything and hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.